Let me see you put them up, put them up. Reach the sky, touch the stars up above Cause it's one time for the underdog One time for the underdog You got the world on your team Even if that ain't Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to show you a quick brow, um, not so quick, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do my brows if you're interested in a, like, the same look I do or whatever. Um, some of you guys messaged me and you were like, hey, you've done brows before, but like, can you give us like a slow down step by step? Because I never really said step by step, I kind of just did it. So I'm going to... I'm glad, and I'm gonna do it for you. Don't worry. So I have my mirror here, and you know it's funny. Now I can't like. I'm finding it harder to do my makeup in my room or like not in studio because <sighs> the lighting in the studio it's so much different. First thing you're gonna do is spoolie your eyebrows so that they're all in the same direction. So I'm take your spoolie. This is a spoolie. If you don't know what a spoolie is, I don't know how beginner you guys are watching this video. Okay, so you're just going to first spool your eyebrows up in the same direction. It's a lot easier to do your eyebrows if they're already, um, if they're already done. And by done, I don't mean like pencils and I mean like waxed or plucked or whatever. If they're already waxed, plucked or whatever, it makes it a lot easier. So, here's how I do it. I take my pencil, and this one is a black pencil. You can use... Whatever color you want, like I don't, I really don't care. Okay, so with the pencil, I make an underline. Boom. So now that I have what the underside of my eyebrow should look like, <laughs> I then do an overline. With that, guys. Ideally, we are being as neat as possible. So there we are. After you get this done, what I like to use is my Ultimate Brow Palette by BH Cosmetics. I don't know. I told somebody it was Bobby. And then I have this, my Eco Tools um, brush. This is my favorite eyebrow brush, the Eco Tools. I've had 10,000 other ones and I always end up going back to this and they're made of bamboo and they're, <sighs> they're like the best Rite Aid drugstore like brush like hands down okay so then what I'll do is I'll take this eyebrow gel I should really be showing you guys this okay boom this one not the black one the brown one because I already use a black um I already use a black <laughs> eyebrow crayon, which a lot of you guys are probably watching the video like, why black? Because I just like it. I've always liked using black. Okay, so I'll take it in from that last point and just fill in the gap towards the end. Okay, when you're filling in the gap, next step you want to start to blend out some of these lines so it should look something like that so you should be somewhere along the lines of this right now then I take the same palette, but I go up and I take the brown powder and I just get that on the brush. Is it evenly? And then I go over the area that I just filled in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tama! Shush! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Okay, there you go. Then you go over the area you just filled in. Boom. And then you do the same on the other side. Mm 
Nice. So after you just go in on the other side, then you take whatever's left over on your brush. You don't dip again. And you just blend this out, the front out. Mm. Like, oh. I love this brush. Boom. And then you just blend the front out. Okay. And that act right there will give you a nice looking little gradient. If you do it right. This one looks more boxy than the other one, right? Looks really look perfect at getting back in. So there you are. Of course, if you see something wrong, like you want to um, flatten or anything, you can. Then I take a spoolie again, and I just kind of like make sure all my hairs are still going in the same direction. There you are. Then you can go in with your concealer. Um, a lot of people put it on the top and bottom, but I just put it on the bottom, and I don't know why. <sighs> I can't give you a great reason as to like why not to put it on top, but I just feel like uh, I'll just put it on top first. Okay, boom. There you go. I do feel like it gives you like. It makes you have to blend out more because if not, it gives you like halo brows. But I do see that I like have dark spots around my brows that would make my brows look a little bit thicker. So I might as well. What of this brow? Here's a funny fun fact this brow always I feel like comes out way better than this brow. And I often have my hair parted like this. Because this battle is always on slayage. Okay. I don't know why I always blend this part out with my finger. Um, I don't know. I just trust my finger the most. So I go in with my finger. Boom. Of course, they're looking a little halo right now because my concealer and my skin and like the okay. But there you guys have it. This is your browtiful, browtiful video. <laughs> um, thank you guys for rocking with me and seeing this. I know I'm like a little bit annoying of how I do my brows and how I like to do my brows but it is possible to just do your brows with pencil it is possible to just do it with gel and it is possible to just do it with powder I just like use it all three because I'm a little bit extra like because I'm a lot of bit extra and also I don't have like really thick brows so you can get away with way more if you just had thick brows already you could just probably like just use the powder or just use whatever but I'm almost starting with like a blank canvas so i use three because it really gets it defined and it really like um to me it looks more natural even though some of you guys might be looking at the video like you don't look natural like i don't care um <laughs> to me that's just um what i like to do and i think all three of those products really have their own strengths and weaknesses and i think they work really well as a team so that's why i use them all three together but thank you for watching my video I'm probably just going to go straight into like a makeup tutorial because I already have my brows on so I might as well finish. Um, but thank you so much for walking out with me guys. I love you guys to pieces and you'll definitely be seeing me a little bit later. Bye guys.